noiseless pickups. It's probably the guitar player's and manufacturer's biggest and deepest rabbit hole. And I want to say that it almost started with the inception of the electric guitar itself because they've been trying to make noiseless pickups since almost like the 50s. But it's thanks to this big rabbit hole that we get humbuggers. And nowadays, it's been Fender's task to bring more and more noiseless pickups to the arena, always saying that they have the best noiseless pickup they've ever made. So today, I put a couple of them to the test and see if they're actually really better. Let's go find out, my friend. I'm Jorge Lanzasing now. We break it down, baby. The best noiseless pickup we've ever made. The best noiseless since its invention. The most single coil-like noiseless. The vintage noiseless. Fender even outsourced this project just to get noiseless pickups. And I want to say that a lot of people love to hate on noiseless pickups. But me, I don't think I have anything against them. And honestly, I have a lot of things against noise. That's one of like the main reasons why I don't use my telly too much. Because even though I love the sound, I hate the noise. And for me, when I hear noise in a guitar, it's like I cannot really erase it from my head. I hear it on everything I play. Almost like a watermark behind my tone. And sometimes it even feels like it's out of tune or something. Yes, the noise. Compared to like the guitar chord that you're making. So I can only imagine people with like perfect pitch like Jacob Collier or Charlie Puth. When they hear like that like sort of like tuned noise, must be horrible. And today, my friend, this video is going to be a little bit different. Because I prepared a test and now you and me are going to check it out together at the same time and trying to draw some conclusions out of this. Also, I want to note that in the clean examples, I also brought my American Professional 2. So we don't only compare the noises pickups, but we also have like a reference of what a normal pickup would sound like. All right, I'm excited for this. Let's go. Okay, and let's start with the cleans. And I named them position one, two, three, four, five. Even though a couple of my strats have seven positions, I did not want to do that. All right, so let's just go. Let me get my headphones. Zoop. And let's listen to these examples. And so for these tests in the clean one, I was using this Mesa Boogie amp with these settings as you see them right there. Just because I didn't want to go to like every setting on noon or five o'clock because it's just not exciting to me. I will never use my amp like that. So why would I do the test like that? I just went to the amp that I like and the sound that I like already and tried it. This is like the sound that I really like to use with strats when I try to get like that spanky clean. All right, too much talking. Let's listen to this test. Neck pickup. Okay, so right out of the bat, to me, like the one that sounds the most different, it's the white guitar, which is an American Ultra that has ultra noiseless pickups, which is like the generation five of noiseless pickups. This one with the maple fretboard has the vintage noiseless. And this one has just regular single coils, in this case, the V-Mod 2. So let's just hear it really quickly because I feel like this and this sound closer. Let's hear it. With the biggest difference being maybe that it sounds a little bit like girthier, heavier, maybe bassier. But this one. Let's hear it again from the top one more time. So there you go. Let me know what you think about the neck pickup in this case. Let's move on to position four now. I feel like the difference in this case is a little bit less extreme. Let's hear just like little bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. 
again, since we have that neck pickup there, I feel like the Ultra still sticks out of being like the heaviest of them all, right? So now let's move on to position three and see what's up. So right, like my first impression right now, it would be like the American Pro 2 with the V mods. That middle pickup sounds really good. Closer, I feel, to what the Ultra sounds like. Let's compare them a little bit together again. Yeah, these sound pretty similar in this case. Let's hear this one again. There's something about the balance in the Ultra and in the Ampro that I feel it's better than in the simple classic ones. And then here comes the bummer. Since the bridge pickup in this guitar is a humbucker, I don't have a noiseless per se. Well, let's do here. Position two. I feel like they all have that same quack that they all needed to have in position two, right? Honestly, I haven't been hearing a big difference between noiseless and non-noiseless. To me, they just sound pretty similar. Let's hear again the first section of the riff and see what happens. I don't know, they all sound pretty good. <laughs> now let's go to the bridge. So yeah, I feel like overall, the Ultra with the Ultra Noiseless feels like it's like the heaviest sounding guitar. Not the loudest, but it does have like that build up in the low mid frequencies that in my opinion makes it sound a little bit sweeter, maybe even feels like a little bit more vintage, which is hilarious because it is the ultra and it's supposed to be like the most modern, which I think it still is. But the sound to me is very warm and it's got a lot of good definition. So I'm really, really enjoying that so far. But let me know in the comment section what are you thinking so far in the cleans, which one sticks out to you the most, which one you like the most. And while you're there, remember to like, subscribe, and do all those cool little things that we like to do on YouTube. Plus, enjoy this little bossa nova. I hope your day keeps getting better and better, my friend. Alright, we did the cleans. I think that was really cool. But let's do some distorted tones. And I hope I don't get copyrighted. And for this tone that you're about to hear, I was using the Mesa Boogie Dual Rec. I put the presence all the way up. I activated my Tube Screamer at around one and a half. I did have my compressor on. And that's it. Let's check it out. <laughs> Pretty similar. Definitely still, I feel like the Ultra has a little bit more weight and it's a little bit more of a pleasing sound, but this is not a noiseless pickup, so let's just keep moving. Position two. Now I feel like that little extra bite that this guitar has um, I don't know, maybe it works with the tone a little bit better than the Ultra did. But again, there's a little bit of an imbalance that has like a little bit of a whistling frequency. And I'm not really enjoying too much. In that case, the Ultra is a little bit more balanced to my taste. Let me know what you think. Okay, now the middle position.
again, those sound really similar. Like the biggest difference again is like that whistling thing that the classics have or the vintage ones. All right, let's keep going to position four. <laughs> I feel like the thinness of the vintage noises right now in this particular tone, of course, in the fourth position, which you probably wouldn't do, has a little bit of an edge because it gives it a little bit more definition. I feel like it sounds a little bit heavier and woofier in the ultra. So maybe I will give this win to the vintage noiseless. All right, let's keep going into position five with our last example of today. <laughs> So that's a difference. Again, I want to say that definitely the bridge. And the neck. are my favorite sounds. Honestly, like I feel like that neck pickup in both guitars almost sounds like a humbucker bridge pickup. <laughs> maybe it needs a little bit of brightness or maybe you can adjust the tone so that it sounds better for you and your own taste. But those sound pretty good. So why do we go and get a few conclusions? All right. All right, my friend. So there you have it. Two different kind of noiseless pickups compared and a cool little bonus with the VMUTs too. I feel like we could hear the difference in the pickups and we could honestly say what's better for you or what's better for me. So let's just start talking a little bit about what I think. To begin with, I'm going to say that it's very hard for people to say if something is better or something is best. Because for everybody, things are going to be different. Your needs are going to be different than my needs. And whatever you think it's cool, maybe it's not what I think it's cool. So that's why I like to do the tests. So that you can figure out if you like the same things I like. Or if you like something different, but at least you know. And I'm not pushing my beliefs and my taste in you and pushing it down your throat and trying to tell you that you're wrong and that I'm right. Like a lot of people like to say. My intention is to say the things I hear. And so you can compare what are you hearing and maybe some things you could not explain with little words like I am doing. Then it's even easier for you to hear what you're actually hearing. And let's remember, some of the people watching the channel, maybe it's the first time listening to a guitar tone. Maybe they're just trying to learn for the first time. And some of these concepts might be a little bit too deep for somebody who's just learning. But hey, everybody can learn whatever they want. So taking that into consideration, that's why I like to make these videos approachable for anyone. But let's stop talking and let's say a couple conclusions. Okay, so after that little disclaimer, I want to say that my favorites are the Ultra, for sure, like, hands down, because I do appreciate a fatter tone. As simple as that, I loved how the Ultra makes it sound like you can hear every single string and they sound very thick. Even though old guitars have the same guitar brand strings, they're the same age, they're, everything is the same in all the three guitars. With the Ultra Noiseless, I hear like cables, that they're very thick strings. And honestly, that is one of my things that I like the most. When I don't like a guitar, it's usually because it makes the strings sound like very thin. And sometimes our first instinct is just to grab a pair of 10s or 11s or 12s if you're that extreme. And in the end, that's not the problem. The problem is what the pickup was profiling a sound. And in the case of the Ultra Noiseless, I do believe that it's a very, very refined tone. That it's almost going to take anything you throw at it very, very well. Like pedals, super distortion, fuzz, anything you throw at that guitar is probably going to do it really well. But the Vintage Noises will do it really well too. But with a little bit less body. And if you like heavier and like with more body tone, then maybe you need the ultra noises. And now that you can get so many things from reverb and from sort of like nice prices, you don't have to go and buy an ultra to have those pickups, right? You can just put it in your Squire if you need to, which I think that would be really great. And I think you probably will have a really good guitar. But if you like thinner tones and you believe that that sounds better than a thicker tone, maybe the vintage noises are for you. Point being, they're all good. I do hear that there's an improvement. So first I want to sort of like, I don't know, maybe give some kudos to Fender because they say, oh, we keep getting better and better and better and better and better. Honestly, I think they did. I think that the ultra noiseless pickup, it's definitely a superior pickup in the sense that it's way more balanced. You hear every single string very nice and go listen to the examples again because you can even hear how the voicing of the chords change between the pickups. 
But I didn't want to get too deep in that rabbit hole because the video would have been too long. And then it's just less approachable for people that are just starting. You're just opening a can of worms that they didn't even need to know about yet. So overall, in my opinion, for my taste, the ultra noiseless, way superior pickup. Even when I compare it to the VMods, I want to say that in that case, it's more of a taste because the VMods have zero problems. The vintage classics, I feel like that kind of like on balance that they have in the mid range or that little whistling sound that I was talking about, that in my opinion makes them a little inferior. Where the American Pro 2 with the VMods and the Ultra Noiseless and the Ultra, they both sound perfect. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just what are you like? And remember to tell me in the comment section. And if you like guitar, guitar pickups, amp sims, and everything about guitar sound, always taken from a very laid back and chill and positive vibe, this is the right channel for you, my friend. Why don't you go watch another video like this one right here? I'll be waiting for you. Thank you for being here again. Whoop.